number one, guys, is our meetup in Utah is in two weeks, less than two weeks. So if we're going to be all going to Utah, guys, it's your chance to meet me, Bao, the MIC team, you know, talk trading. We're going to be having a meetup. We're going to be having a big after party. It's 100% free to come. We don't charge $500,000 a ticket. Uh, this is the last event that is going to be free. So the future events, we are going to start charging uh, because it costs a lot of money to rent these venues and rent everything. So going forward, this is the last free event that we're throwing. So how do you come to this free event? You go to myinvestingclub.com slash meetup. There's a registration form. You fill out the registration form and boom, that's your ticket. That's your entry into the free event. We're going to be talking trading. We're going to be talking small caps, large caps, some investing stuff, everything and anything that has to do with trading. And, you know, this is your opportunity to meet us, guys. So you're going to meet me, Bao, the MIC team. And remember, trading is very lonely. So if you don't really have many friends that understand trading, if you don't really have many people that know what you're going through, all of a sudden you're going to be surrounded with a bunch of people that uh, understand what you're going through, love the same topic. And if you're shy, you guys have something to talk about, which is trading, right? So that's going to be August 19 to 21, myinvestingclub.com slash meetup in Utah. So we'll see you guys there. Yep, yep. Whoever is not going, you guys are going to miss the biggest, best event of the year. Yep. Sure, guys, to meet, this is not just about stocks, about meeting great people, making yep. friendships above and beyond stocks, guys. Yeah, some of the people that I've met at this meetup have become, you know, lifelong friends. You know, most of the moderators that we met came to these meetups and you know we all just stayed in touch we all became friends we have a ton of moderators coming we have tom diesel coming we have harry james tay edson we have pretty much a lot of people coming guys so this is gonna be an awesome awesome event and it's totally free no strings attached you don't have to pay for anything is your chance to come hang out with us so that's that yep. uh, number number two guys is i've been away for about 10 days uh, I've been just dealing with some personal stuff on my family side. So I'm finally back today. I'm finally back on my home setup over here. Feels good to be home. Feels good to be back. Uh, but while I was away, Bat was telling me that the market went crazy. So <laughs> it, seems like, it seems like I have this magical talent of whenever I go on a trip, the market goes crazy. I have no idea what happens. In I, that's a good thing, Alex, to be honest. We're short sellers. If you stuck around, man, you... Dude, it's fucking insane. I've never seen so many zombies in my life. I've never seen. Look at OSP, bro. Yeah. No, I'm seeing it, bro. I'm seeing it. Also, guys, let's, let's talk about that. Top. That is pretty much every day during the zombie hour. Yeah. So let's talk about the zombie rule, man. This is what's keeping us alive, guys. Yep, yep, yep. And the thing is, guys, like, we created these rules, like the zombie rule, because that's what was causing us to lose over the years, right? We recognize that, you know, this market – for whenever it's euphoric like this, you know, is not really beneficial to shorts that are holding for an all day fader. So let's talk about what happened, right? So why did the market do this? What happened to the market? What triggered this? So we've been in a bear market for almost 10 months now. For 10 months straight, the stock market has been going straight down. And the people that have been shorting have been making a lot of money. What ends up happening, guys, is it, all it takes is one crazy stock to give people confidence that the market is rebounding and the market's getting better and it allows longs to be more biased. Because if a long biased trader is seeing that every time they buy a stock, it tanks, they're gonna be dissuaded from buying the stock. But when there's that one stock that just keeps going straight up, straight up, straight up, which is HKD, then all of a sudden you have the craziness. HKD is some Chinese IPO scam, you know, went from $5 to $1,000. <laughs> and it triggered a bunch of other crazy stocks to go wild. So now we're in a market cycle where longs are dominating. We are in a market cycle where people don't care what stock is moving. They just want to buy it. And we are in a market cycle where stocks are squeezing further than we could expect because shorts have been so biased for the last 10 months. For the last 10 months straight, shorts have made money. For the last 10 months straight, they've been getting bailed out. And now, when the trend has changed, when the market cycle has changed to have the shorts winning, now the longs are winning in this market cycle, it takes some time for people to adapt. And that's why we're getting all these crazy moves. I think what happens is it's the same thing, man. When you, when you least expect it, shit happens. So you got to be on your guard all the time. 
So when we talk about this, it's all hindsight, obviously, but at that time, you don't really know that this is happening, right? You only know that it happened after you fucking lose your ass. <laughs> a few times, you realize, oh, shit, the market changed. But during that time, the ones that have risk management survive, right? The yeah. ones that have proper risk management don't know that the tide has changed. And so they blew up. And then they look back, oh, fuck, I fucked up. When yeah, and also the key is not to get too biased. Ba Someone DM'd Bao on Twitter a week ago, and they said, hey, I'm short HKD at 50 bucks. I think it's going to $10. Bao was like, uh, okay, what, like whatever you say. And all of a sudden, it's going to $80. Bao was like, uh, this is, you can't make this shit up, man. I, I got someone, I'm not going to tell names, but I got a complaint because we, 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 this is a good thing. This is a, um, we didn't talk about a success trader much today, but, uh, so he's using success trader and he, he shorted HKD overnight. Okay. And he got bought in at $51 yep. that day, yep. $51. And then he's complaining to me, why did I get bought in? I'm like, dude, the stock's at 70 bucks, bro. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I, it's going to $10, bro. It's going to $10. People, I was like, people have, people complain about every fucking shit. I, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know, man. I mean, people can He got bought in at 51 bucks. The stock went to 74 bucks, and he's complaining. And now the stock's at one thousand dollars. So I don't care what you say. So Sistrader saved his fucking account. Yeah. They covered him at the low. So yeah. you know. And so the, the point is, like, sometimes you get really lucky, guys. And it's very important. I, I want to tell you a story, man. I want to fucking bash any brokers, but buy-ins. The people that work at the brokerages know which stocks get bought in. And if you are with a crooked broker, they would use that against you because they will buy you in. So what they do is this, man. I don't want to fucking say shit about anybody, but they're crooked brokers that run the stock up with their own fucking shares so that they you they can buy it. So they're using – their so if, let's, let's say like a stock like XYZ is at 10 bucks and there's a buy-in. They would move that stock themselves up to 11 bucks. And sell it to you to cover. Yeah. They, because they, this is insider trading, but it's legal, right? Because they fucking part of the brokerage. So you have to be fucking very careful about which broker you're in, guys. Because when shit like this happens, you don't know what prices that they're buying you in. So Successor actually bought him in at $51 at the low of fucking day. They could have easily held this fucking stock for 74 bucks and yeah. cover him at 74 bucks. Yeah. And it would be legit. Because when you wake up, what happens to this, guys? You know, you, you wake up, you see your share is gone. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? You say, oh, the clearing firm took it so that they can buy it in. And, I go, and so my old broker, like two brokers ago, did not give me the opportunity to cover myself. I was screaming left and right. So what happened? They do a T walk, a time weighted volume. So they're fucking, they have an algo that benefits them. They, they're, they're not because what happens? There's too many people. They're not, they're not, they don't give a fuck to cover you at the low because there's like a thousand people being bought in. Yeah. Okay, but with success trader, I mean, dude, I don't know why, but about it at the low of day. So I don't want to say anything about any other brokers, guys. I'm not claiming that they're crooked or anything, but be very fucking careful, man. The shit that goes on in the brokers, you have fucking no idea. And this is what me and Alex started to find legitimate brokers that will not do that kind of shit. Exactly. And HKD, man, this is what happened. HKD got bought in at that day. It went from $50. Seventy-five fucking dollars, man. Yeah, and people that got fucked. So, and the problem is, guys, these moves that happen, like HKD, are usually failure to deliver. So what that means is, let's say there's, let's say there's a thousand people. Let's say there's a thousand shares short. Whatever. Let's say there's a thousand shares short. What ends up happening is the broker cannot find those thousand shares after the T plus two, and they're like, you know what? If we can't find the shares, we have to buy them in. So these stocks, people ask, oh, who's stuck? Who's stuck? Who's stuck? To be honest, it could just be buy-ins and covers and all this stuff. We don't really know. The yeah. point is, guys, the point is that you can't get too biased. This trader at $50 said $10 is coming. He's huh. crying, he's crying, he's crying. Now $1,000, who knows if he's still fucking alive out there. He might have fucking jumped off a bridge. You never know with this shit, right? So I you mean... have to be very careful, guys, with your bias. And that's why we talk about today's video, which is how to trade stocks like HKD. What's it's... the answer about? I don't believe it's about the bias. You can have any fucking bias you want. It's the risk management, right? It's fucking, everyone's biased, right? But the problem is, are you overly convicted? Are you, you have, if, if you're overly convicted, you will die. You go down with the ship. 
And that's not what training is about, right? You can be biased all you want, but you need to be able to know when you're wrong, get the fuck out. And that's part of the risk management. Yep. So Val, what's the best way to trade stocks like HKD? So we see stocks like HKD moving. And then we have stocks like APDN, VRAX, MGAM, OST, AMTD. What's the best way? I avoided. I screwed on my guy. Do not fucking touch this shit. You will fucking blow up, especially on day one. So exactly what happened. You know, we, we, we are sitting, you're, you know, you're fortunate you fucking left and you came back when all these died. But there, during the week, man, during the week, day one, you imagine these things are running like crazy. You, you yeah. step up the landmine, you're dead. So the only way to trade these guys is to not to fucking trade them. So you need to know what's within your niche and what's not. You have to be able to realize, dude, I'm not going to step in a fucking landmine because what happens is this. So this is a, this is a really difficult, it's not even a sector play out. Uh, sector plays would be like if it's COVID, so all COVID stocks, are, right? Yeah. Or if it's shippers, it's all shipping stocks. It's just random this, IPO. This is the, it. they, they running every fucking IPO. The reason they're running all these IPOs is you know why? There is no float out there. Yeah. There, these IPOs are fucking, they're, they're hell. So who the fuck knows what they're doing with the fucking float? Imagine you have no fucking float out there, and that's what HTD did. So the only way these guys are being able to cover is if the fucking guys is pushing the shares out, and who knows what the fuck is going on. All right, and the thing is, guys, when you see stocks like HKD going from, you know, 200, 300, 400, 500, and then you see at 1,000, if you see HKD at 1,000, that's not your signal to buy AMTD at 8 and think that's going to go to 80, right? That's not that what you have to realize, guys, is a lot of these stocks for the next week or two are going to be pumped as the next HKD. Like QNRX, Val, you remember fucking QNRX today? QNRX today was a pump that went from, what was it? Let me pull up the chart. A pump that went from $8 to $5. So for the next week, we are going to get stocks and runners and things that say, you know what? This is the next HKD. And nine times out of 10 is not going to be the next HKD. And that is when we capitalize. That's when we make money. The best way to do it, guys, once again, is to just not trade these. It's better to make zero than to fucking fight with, with something. I mean, if, especially if you're a new trader, don't even fucking look at this shit. Stick to your niche. Stick to the broken stocks. Find, if you're shorting, stick to the broken stocks. If you're a long buy trader, buy it by means. Just go in on these long stocks, right? And zombie and times too. That's what we teach. There's, we have members in MIC, guys, that don't trade for the first hour. They wait until 1030 and they just go long and they make us look like idiots for working so hard all morning, you know? So that's the thing, man. No one to go long, no one to go short. So shorts come after the, the top has peaked. Shorts, um, if you short early, you're dead. So wait for the backside. We always talk about backside, but no one explains what the fuck backside is. We actually explain to you what backside is. We give you a fucking technical, you know, like a fucking, it, it's, it's down to the fucking like, like, like the Let me actually show price. a video on that, pal. Let me Tell actually pull the entry kind of shit, right? Not just A, B, C, D pattern kind of crap. So, um, oh shit, I should have covered this. Pal, <laughs> we have all these videos on backside. So we have front side versus backside, how to short the backside. We have three pages of videos here. And what I'm going to do is even have, look, we have three live trading videos from Bao. JMU long, CFIS backside. Um, live trading. So I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to post this for the members in the room. Uh, the link is right here if you're an MIC member. I'm going to post that into the room right now so that everyone has it handy. That way you have no questions, no concerns about how to find backside because we've made so many videos on this stuff. Yeah, man. So one of the complaints that uh, the trolls have made is we have too many fucking videos. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to tell you. First, we have no videos. The people complain. We have too many videos. They complain. Um, the, the key though, guys, the key is this, man. It's like, if you want to learn how to do anything, there, there are a million books out there on every topic. So what you do is you have to pick one area and start with that one area. You cannot be an expert in all areas. Pick right. one area and focus on that one thing and do it very well. I always say it's better to be the master of one than the jack of all trades. If you're a jack of all trades, you're just a fucking normal guy that's just fucking not gonna make money. And one more thing is guys, in these markets, we say it every day, and the reason why we say it every day and people don't listen is because literally they don't listen. We say every day set a max loss and a max size at the broker level. You guys are probably sick of hearing. You guys, we've said, I'm gonna get tattooed on my fucking ass at this point because every single day, 
there's still one person that doesn't fucking listen. Don't take a giant blow up for you to learn this fucking lesson. This lesson, whether you're an MIC member, non-MIC member, hedge fund trader, fucking Forex trader, every single professional trader, even at the prop firms, even at the hedge funds, has a max loss level. So imagine if someone is trading with $100 million and they have a max loss level and you're trading with $100 and you don't have the max loss level, who's the real expert? These are lessons from professional hedge fund traders. When I used to work with Dr. Brett Steenbarger, he used to work with the traders that uh, work with Paul Tudor Jones. And he said that even the guys with $100 million accounts still had a daily stop out, a daily max loss, a daily max size, because sometimes trading gets fucked up. Sometimes your brain just fucking turns off. How many times do you think in your head, oh my God, if I just stopped out where I was supposed to stop out, I would have so much more money. If I knew about max loss and max size when I first started my trading, I would have had many millions of dollars more. But instead, it took millions of dollars in lessons to learn. It's very simple, man. The same thing as like if you're a car, race car driver, you're wearing a seat belt and a fucking helmet. That's it. That's all it is. That's, That's all it is. But most of the time, they're, they're fine. They don't need that fucking helmet and seat belt. But the time that they do, that saves their fucking life. Yep, and exactly. It's not thing you know a lot of these guys like call it a training wheel you know i mean fuck dude uh, are you fucking are you jumping out of an airplane with no parachute in fact you have two parachutes <laughs> you have a backup yeah. parachute even the professional all it takes is one time guys i'm telling you one time could ruin a day a month a year or even wipe out your entire account because all you need is one hkd god forbid god forbid you're on the wrong side of hkd that's it you're done you're done forever you're done forever so that's if you want to be successful long term, you gotta set it. That's why we have the freaking auto liquidation, man. I, I even I started using that shit, bro. Yeah, we have because to, bro. Pissed, now, bro, we're fucking human. Pissed. We're not algos. We fuck up, dude. It's it's like, it's you would never jump out of a fucking airplane without two parachutes. Yeah, I'm saying right now, you have a backup parachute all the time. That's what it is, man. Fucking the internet goes out your house. You're fucked. Uh, yeah. The power goes out. Uh, you fight with your girlfriend next you know you the cat jumps on your keyboard and fucking yeah, it could be anything guys and the keys in these markets there's always going to be a leader there's always going to be the head of the thing there's going to be one stock one stock that everyone is focused on which is HKD at this current market when we're recording this right now is HKD when HKD is taking all the attention what do you think VRAX what do you think SNTI what do you think APDN what do you think AMTD what do you think all these stocks are doing all the money is going into the hot stock and all the money is selling out of the old stocks. What ends up happening is let's say I'm long. Okay. I'm going to give you an example. Let's get HKD is running. It's going to $800, $900 and I'm long AMTD. I'm going to be like, Oh my God, I have so much fucking FOMO. HKD is going to go to 1500. I'm going to sell AMTD to free up buying power to buy HKD. And then that happens on a massive scale which is the money flow concept that we talk about money flows out of one stock and into the other stock, usually based on FOMO, right? So these are the lessons that we do. These are the lessons that we teach. And, you know, it's very sad that no one watches these videos. You know, we have 178 people watching this. This is the key to financial freedom. Even in the bear market, we're making millions of dollars, bro. And no one watches, but the people that are here, the people that are watching, the people that are learning, are changing their lives. So if you are here, if you have found this, if you are watching this, if you are learning, consider yourself fucking lucky because one day, one day it's going to finally click. You're going to fucking finally change your life. And you're going to say, I wish I fucking watched this earlier. I wish I fucking listened earlier. I wish I used the watch this. I wish I set the max loss. We're telling you the same things that we're doing every single day, right? People ask, are you guys using success trader? Yes, bitch. We're using the same broker we're recommending, right? That's the whole point, you know? Yep. So anything else? We see uh, the bottom line, guys. This shit happens all the time. Uh, it's like a distraction, in my opinion, man. All these stocks are distraction. Um, what you need to do is focus on your process. Is your process? Does your process say to trade HKD? No, it doesn't. Your process is to trade the sympathy side plays. So the HKD comes. I'm waiting. Alex and I are waiting for the side plays. The sympathy. Exactly, bro. Exactly. And. What I try to tell you guys is pre-market, guys, pre-market on these stocks. 
don't short a pre-market because they're extra thin pre-market. So I say avoid, 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 avoid. And then when I see some sort of signal, when I see some sort of confirmation, when I see a goddamn candle like this, when I see a candle like that, <laughs> that tells me, okay, you could stop avoiding and you could start attacking. So I always mention, what is the signal? What is the signal? What is the goddamn motherfucking signal? If I get a signal, a death candle, a kill candle, a confirmation, an offering, a fucking C, I don't know what the signal is, but you could tell by a ginormous, ginormous red candle, ginormous red candle going like this, straight fucking down is what it looks like, straight down. When I see that, the trend has changed, the longs are stuck, the shorts are in favor, and that's what it is. And so what you do is this, guys. This is how you benefit both longs and shorts. So if you're short, that's, that's your kill candle, your death candle, whatever you want to call it, right? That's your signal that maybe you can, it's more safe to get in the short. Uh, if yep. you're a long trader and you see that, you better get the fuck out. <laughs> that's the yep. thing. And the thing is, guys, we are here every single day. We are trading. We make plenty of money trading. I mean, look, today so far is my day. Um, where is it? Fill loads. It's a little bit blurry. Let me see if I can clean up the lens and maybe fix it. My day right here, as you can see, 11,800 today. First day back trading, you know, trading AMTD, VRAX, all these crazy stocks. And guys, we're here making tens of thousands of dollars a day. We are here making money every single day. We start, hey, right? You didn't even touch HKD. <laughs> I don't have any borrows, HKD, bro. I'm not paying $40 even a share. If, if it, even if we had borrows, bro, I would not touch it. What you did was you traded the sympathy side place. Exactly, guys. Exactly. And I waited. I waited. Keep I waited. The and guys, keep my fucking, what is that, $11,000? is $2.5 million a year. I'm sitting here in my fucking pants with the fucking espresso cup over here making $2.5 million pretty much on my ass, right? And instead of just sitting here and popping champagne bottles, Bao and I are here trying to help you guys change your lives because MIC the, the, the brought key us back to life, bro. The, you know what it comes down to? You know what you're doing? You're sticking to your fucking process, bro. You're not letting, you're not letting the fucking flavor of the day sidetrack you and lose focus. That's the whole thing. The, if your process and you're a long bias trader, trade HKD. For shorts, that's not the fucking process, guys. I tell you right now. That's a losing proposition. Everybody who fucking touched that shit got their ass killed. Exactly, man. So there's always going to be new runners, guys. There's always going to be new stocks. There's always going to be something happening. In a bear market, when the investors are down 50%, we're still making money. So be very careful, guys. Understand the market cycles we are in. Understand yeah, it comes what we always talk about. Every, every uh, IG and every YouTube, Alex, the stock selection, bro. It's exactly, and that's why we have the watch list. So let me actually pull up the watch list, pal, and then I'm going to go drink some fucking coffee because I landed late last night. So let me show you guys the watch list. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> this is the watch list. Every single day, guys, every single day, I'm posting the detailed plans of the day. These are the exact stocks I'm trading. These are the exact plans I'm using every single day. Even when I am not around, the moderators are here covering plays. I'm even away on vacation. I'm on vacation, but I'm still trying to post plays for you guys because I understand that screen time is the key to trading. So if you've just been trading for one month, one fucking week, one year, understand that the more time that you spend in front of the screens, the more time you spend in front of the market, the more money you will make. So AMTD is now tanking. My p and should have fucking gone up a little bit more after this. And you guys will see it on Instagram later today. Hopefully, we could break like $15,000, and that'd be fucking sick. But regardless, guys, I'm going to go uh, back to helping the members. Bow, great fucking job today, and we will see you guys at the meetup, myinvestingclub.com slash meetup. Yeah, we're going to go back and helping members as usual. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Later. Bye.